Today, I wanted to answer the question, how much does 3D printing miniatures actually cost? And is it cheaper than buying your models from companies like Games Workshop? Hopefully, for those of you looking to get into 3D printing, this is a helpful video. Well, if we hop into Lychee Slicer, it actually tells you the cost for each print using the amount of resin and the price that you set per liter of resin. So for example, this Carnarex model would use $2.56 worth of resin in its print. But is that actually the real cost? Firstly, you're always going to have wasted resin. Whether that's from spilled or uncured resin left on your models, it's never going to be 100% efficient. So even if we took that number of $2.56, it might be closer to $3. But I believe to truly work out the cost of a model, we need to take into account the total cost of our printing setup. Yes, it might use $3 worth of resin, but we need to factor in the cost of all the equipment, supplies, and even the digital files or STLs for those miniatures. And so I'm here to break it all down for you. And so I just want to give a few disclaimers first, so like people aren't hunting me down when I get stuff wrong. So firstly, I've only been printing for about a month, and so I might get stuff wrong, I might say the wrong stuff. Um, and these calculations are from my own experience, so there might be differences, and if people worked out the numbers for themselves, it's also, um, this is in Australian dollars so people might look at this and look at it in USD or whatever and think there's some discrepancies but Australian dollars and in my first week of printing I also wasted a lot of resin just with the amount of failed prints that I have and so it skews my results to not as valuable as they could be. I'm not going to take into account the value of my time. Uh, 3D printing takes time and it's a hobby in itself and you need to learn how to do it and finally I'm not going to take into account the cost of my electricity. Uh, to run my print of 10 hours that uses one kilowatt which is equivalent to 20 Two cents, which is pretty minimal because I'm not going to be running it for 10 hours a day. And even then, like it's it's not. So let's break down the costs. I have a Creality Harlot One resin printer, and I really rate this printer. And I got it for $279.95, and it's a bit cheaper now online. I got the AnyCubic Wash and Cure 2.0. You don't need this, but it does make your life a lot easier. And that was $139.95. You need isopropyl alcohol or IPA for short. And I bought a five-liter bottle, and that was $47. It's yeah, it's, it's starting to add up. The resin. I used was Eligu ABS like gray and that came out for me $33.19 per liter and I used three liters already so that's $99.57 and just a side note the price of resin has like doubled already because of supply chain shortages across the world so now it's looking like for me $60 Australian just to get the same bottle it's almost doubled so F's in the chat for me also just the random tools that you don't even think about silicone mats just to make spills easier to deal with they were $11.99 some funnels and strainers to help filter out resin and IPA that was about $20. Uh, nitrile gloves a pack of 100 was $20 from my hardware store and these are super important to protect your skin so like remember safety first and then finally the digital files or STLs um, you can get a bunch of these for free but I wanted you know like the premium ones and so across Patreons and buying just like bundles outright I've spent about $126.10 and so that gives a grand total of $744.56 which is quite a large upfront cost and so so what have I got to show for spending about $750? Well, if you've watched my previous video, which I'll put a link in the top right, you can see I've printed about 95 models already. And when you straight up divide the cost by the amount of models, it comes to $7.84 per model, which I don't think it's too bad. Like when you look at it, for some of my troops, you might think that's a bit pricey. You know, a squad of 10, that's almost $80. However, on the flip side, that means my elite units, you know, big bosses and monsters, they're also $7.84, which they could easily cost individually like $50 to $80 or even more. And so one of the things with 3D printing is the more models you print, the more you offset your initial costs and the cheaper that price per model is going to get. So how does this stack up to companies like Games Workshop? Is this good value? value for what I've printed. And so I actually made an Excel spreadsheet comparing the models I've printed to their equivalent GW uh, models. And so I've highlighted in yellow where there was no equivalent. So I kind of estimated the cost. And so I went through Games Workshop's website, got a price for the kit, worked out um, price per model, and then multiplied that price per model by the amount of models I've printed so far to work out like the equivalent dollars roughly. And just one of the things to note is that there's no um, one for one match. Like these are not exact copies of the model. If you look at my Orc Boss on this Dragon Machine, 
machine. It isn't an exact copy of the Beast Boss on Squigasaur. And so like you need to take that into account. Like you're not gonna get an exact copy of a Games Workshop model. But if I added up all those kits from what they're equivalent to what I've printed, it comes to $1,528. And that's more than double the cost of what I've spent so far. But Andrew, I hear you say, like you could go to third party retailers and get GW stuff for like 20% off the recommended retail price. Or you could go on and buy second hand models. And so I just wanna humor this and imagine I bought half of what I've printed at 80% of the recommended retail price from third party retailers and half of these models from things like Facebook Marketplace secondhand for 50% of the recommended retail price. So that would still come to $993.35. Obviously like there's gonna be some pros and cons of going with each option, but about $750 for my 3D printing plus my time or roughly $993 down the Games Workshop route if you'd wanna go down there. 